So there's five running backs you should put in your fantasy football lineup this week. And the first guy's Kareem Hunt in probably his last start as the Browns running back before they go on by. And then week 10 when Nick Chubb is supposed to come back. But Kareem Hunt, he's had a solid three out of four games filling in for Chubb. For Chubb. But this week he's got the Raiders. The Raiders, they get hurt on the ground a lot. So this week I could see a good game from Hunt in his farewell game as a starter. Last week in PPR, Hunt had a good game, 19 fantasy points with 18 carries for 76 yards, 3 catches and 26 yards and a touchdown. So Kareem Hunt, Baker Mayfield likes him. He likes him in, out of the backfield in the flats catching some passes as well. And Hunt, he's been a top 50 player this year in fantasy. So I'll roll them out there as an obvious start this week versus the Las Vegas Raiders who give up the second most fantasy points to running backs. Odell Beckham, he's out now for the Cleveland Browns. So Kareem Hunt, he's going to get even more volume, I think, in this game that they try to run the clock down more, two tight end sets and stuff. So Kareem Hunt's my first definite start of the week. The second one's Jonathan Taylor, the emerging rookie from the Indianapolis Colts. Coming off the bye week, he's got a great matchup versus the Detroit Lions this week. Taylor had a good, his best game of his career, possibly in week six before going on bye. He had 12 carries for 60 yards with four catches and 55 yards. It was good to see Taylor catching some balls out of the backfield for 50 yards as well. Just the way that game script was going, you would think Hines would get more volume, but he didn't. So it's good to see Taylor getting that. Receiving yards out of the backfield. His bye week is over now. And now he's got a good match up here in week 8. So he's a definite start for me. And I'm going to project them 18 points in this game. For Jonathan Taylor coming up. Versus Detroit indoors. Quick turf. And you know Phillip Rivers. They don't want him throwing. The third running back I like this week as a starter. Is Mike Davis of the Carolina Panthers. He's coming off of two bad games. McCaffrey, I don't think he's coming back for Thursday night's game. He was a non-participant watching on the sidelines. I think they're going to treat it as a buy for McCaffrey one more week to have those 10 days off and then put him in. So Mike Davis here, he's coming off of two bad games. Last week he only got seven carries for 12 yards, but this week he's got a great matchup versus an Atlanta defense that is pretty bad. And I'm going to start most of my Panthers with confidence. Like I say, if you see Atlanta, the Cowboys, or the Jets on the schedule, and you got players versus those teams, you definitely got to go in there and start them. And the last time versus Atlanta in Week 5, Mike Davis had a monster game with 16 carries for 89 rushing yards and 9 catches for 60 yards with a touchdown as well. So Mike Davis... I think he has a bounce back week, especially if he gets the full workload and McCaffrey is not going to be back. Then Mike Davis is my third start of the week at running back. The next guy is Henderson, Darrell Henderson of the Rams. We saw him last night. He didn't look that good and Brown took some of the work from him. But this week he's in a better matchup. He still had 64 yards rushing, but on 15 carries. But now he's got Miami. Heading into week 8, and I like most of the Rams this week to have good fantasy days. In week 8 versus a Miami team, who has the rookie Tua starting. I think the Rams are going to have more possessions, create more turnovers, and then try to pound the rock to close out the game at the end. So I like Henderson this week as a bounce-back candidate. He's coming off a of back-to-back 9-point fantasy days. But this week versus Miami... I could see him get 15-plus for Darrell Henderson. I mean, if he's out there, he's maybe a guy to buy low in your fantasy league. But this week versus Miami, I think he gets the job done, and I could see him get 80 total yards and a touchdown. And then he goes on by in Week 9, so he's the fourth running back I like this week. And the fifth and final guy is Melvin Gordon of the Denver Broncos. We saw him and uh, Phillip Lindsay split carries until Lindsay going down with the concussion. And I, who knows his status for real this week. But as of now, I like Melvin Gordon. It's a vengeance game for him versus former team this week in the Los Angeles Chargers. Who didn't want to pay him the big bucks. And I think the Chargers so far have been right. Gordon, he's only had 
two or three good games versus Kansas City. He looked all right. He had 68 yards on the ground with a touchdown, but two fumble losses, which is concerning, even though the weather was slick and it was snowy over there. But this Denver offense is in disarray. Drew Locke, I don't think he's the answer there for the Broncos. So they might play this game safe and run the ball 20, 25 times. And if Lindsey's out, you're going to see Gordon get 20, 25 touches total with the passing also. So Melvin Gordon, I like him in a spot versus former team. You know he wants to prove him wrong here. It's a division game, even though the Broncos are horrible this year, 2-4. and four. So Melvin Gordon's the fifth start at running back for me this week in week eight.